Okay, today we're gonna talk about the Hobbymate D6 Elite right here. Uh, a LiPo charger, that's excellent. $40 uh, for, a for a 200 watt charger. So here's a, a two cell LiPo, 5,000 milliamp hours and a tire just for comparison of the size to give you a relative scale and we're gonna fire it up you can either power it with a battery a big battery if you're on the field your car battery what have you xt60 connector or will yeah or a uh, a power adapter ac adapter so let's use a big battery nice little screen you thought it was gonna be just a little LCD, but it's actually a actual little uh, graphical screen. It doesn't have one of these boards that the old chargers used to all use. It just has a universal board where you, you put in any size plug as long as you start from the bottom. Right there. And then beams to XD60. We need an adapter. So the, the charger doesn't come with any plugs, so you have to buy your own, make your own. So right there, charger, this is your jog wheel. We go into char, oops. And your back wheel, we go into charge mode. Charge. So it tells us we have 8.1 volts in this battery. We're gonna charge it at 4.4, which is uh, 2S, 2C charging. Let's go for that and charge, boom. Just like that, we're in business. So, nice little screen, it tells us the cells are at 4.16 and 4.15. It balances on the fly, not at the very end of the cycle. 95% full, gives us a good indication how far we are from done. 4.4 amps is what we asked it to charge at and it's having no problem doing that. 37.3 watts is what we're um, outputting to the system. And then 49 milliamp hours is what we've charged so far for 49 seconds. And uh, temperature of the charger inside is 32 degrees. At 40, the fan starts to kick in, has two powerful little fans. And at 50, they really go into turbo boost. Let's say we're done charging, we wanna discharge it. We can do that. And this is a very amazing way of discharging. So what we wanna do, we say, okay, what's basically gonna happen is this recycle mode. So the, the, all the, power, the energy is gonna go from here, through here to here. So we're not wasting energy into heat, rather we are uh, putting our energy into a, a battery source that we can use for another day. So it tells that we were telling him the charger that don't charge this over 13 volts. Stop doing what you're doing otherwise. So let's do it. And we are discharging. And what's cool about this mode is it's very fast. Because we're not using an internal resistor that gets very hot and the fans wasting a lot of energy uh, to heat and, and cooling the resistor. We're just pumping the power back to here. So we're asking it to discharge at 10 amps. And so you're able to discharge, put your, all your batteries in storage mode very quickly and not waste the energy. And of course, if you don't have a, a battery input, and you just have a, a an adapter, plug it, wall adapter, you can discharge as well, but it's gonna happen much slower. And there's a setting in here, so let's stop this. 
internal or recycle, okay? So I'll leave it at internal. You wanna see, you have a battery, you have a random battery. Say, hey, I wonder, I wonder how it's doing. Just plug it in. And instantly it tells us what kind of state it's in. It's a 97% charged battery, 4.16, perfectly balanced. Okay. So we can balance this battery if we want. Measurer. So the So right there, we're just balancing this battery. Complete, it's completely balanced. So there you go. An amazing little charger, has way more options. Here you could, uh, five volts, 2.1 amps, you could power a, uh, a USB. You can also uh, update your firmware through here. Here you could check all kinds of receiver functions, ESC functions. You can even use this as a power source. So it's a little powerhouse of a charger for $40. So quite impressive.